Here I'll give you an overview of the molecule calculator. Uh, here you're in the molecule builder window and so the default is to start building from a methane molecule but uh, if you want you can also start building from benzene or if you want to build something with a hydrogen bond you can start uh, from the water dimer. Or here you can search for other molecules to start building from. But we'll start with methane. So to build, you go in and select your atom. So you selected a carbon. Uh, and so you simply built by clicking on the atoms. If you want to move the molecule a little bit, you double click and hold the mouse down. Like this. Uh, I can change this to a nitrogen, for example. I can change the charge. So now I have an NH3 group that has a positive one charge and I can change the bond order to for example a, a double bond. Then I can clean up the structure a little bit here by minimizing it and now I'm ready for a calculation. So I go down here and hit calculate. Yes I'm sure. And here I have my molecule again. Now I'm presented with three different options here. Uh, thermodynamic properties of the molecule. Calculated here, I get the heat of formation. I get the enthalpy entropy contributions. Uh, and then I get uh, the translational, rotational, and vibrational contributions to the enthalpy and the entropy. I can also calculate molecular orbitals. So here, for example, they're ranked by orbital energy. Uh, so for example, I can view this one. Which is an, an orbital spread over the molecule. I can also calculate vibrational frequencies. Uh, and these are also ranked by vibrational frequencies or vibrational wave numbers here. So this is the lowest one uh, and I can then select other vibrations here. I can turn that off and add uh, vectors for example if I think that's, that's a better way of doing things. Uh, it has remembered, uh, MoleCalc remembers what you have calculated so I can go back here to molecular orbitals this will take a little while to update. Uh, but for example, if I click here, I'll get a new, I get a new orbital. And the same with the thermodynamics. Okay, I can go back to my molecule here. The last thing I want to show is how you uh, can do measurements in the molecule. So if I double click here and then move my mouse here, I, I get the bond distance. I can do the same double click, single click, single click here. Here I get the angle and I can also get the dihedral. Double click, single click, single click, double click here. So you can see here they're on top of each other uh, but I can go in and by right clicking get a menu uh, where I have access to all the things that JSMOL can do and I can go down here for example in measurements and delete the measurements and then go back oops and get my dihedral angle again like this okay so that's a, a brief overview to using molecular calculator